This is Pastor Fred Martin Jr. from the Refuge Church of the Apostolic Faith in Littleton, North Carolina. The Gospel of St. John, chapter number four, records the story how that Jesus leaving Judea, heading to Galilee to escape the aggression of the Pharisees, decided to take a trip through Samaria. Now normally Jews would go all around and out of the way to avoid contact with the Samaritans. But Jesus said that I have need to go to Samaria. So he intentionally took his disciples through Samaria. And when they got there, they went out to find food while Jesus went to quench his thirst. And there he found the woman at the well and asked her to give him water. She looked at him and said, you being a Jew, I'm surprised you even spoke to me. But Jesus said, if you knew who it is that asked you for water, you would ask him to give you water. And I would give you that living water that after you drink, you will never thirst again. And you all know how the story goes. The Lord, amen, ministered to her and told her all of her life history. And she became a believer, amen. And afterward, his disciples returned with food. And they said to the master, Jesus, come and eat. And Jesus said, I have meat that you know not of. They wondered, well, did somebody bring him food while we were gone? And he said, no. My meat is to do the work of the Father that have sent me and to finish it. We as believers must understand, amen, that it is our job to do the work of the harvest. And he looked at his disciples and he said, you say that there are four months and then the harvest. But I say, lift up your eyes and look on the field for they are already white and ready to harvest. Church, this is harvest time, as the pandemic has virtually emptied out our sanctuaries. We all have gone to, amen, Facebook and Zoom and YouTube, but there is no substitute for the actual work that God has called us to do. The Lord took his disciples through Samaria so they would know what their task and what their job was. And I say to you today, in the midst of this pandemic, where there is social unrest, there is financial upheaval, there is political unrest, and folk need a man to hear a word from the Lord. This is our time, for the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few. I implore each of you to put your hands to work to do the work of the Lord that have sent you, for the harvest is plentiful and it is ready to be harvested. God bless you and have a smile upon you until